Hello and welcome, this is Mr. Siege and today we'll be expertising Gonzalo de Cordoba and putting the rest of the gold heads into the other engineering commander, Garjamada. And we're going to be duelling the strongest 1v1 march in Rise of Kingdoms, Huo Nevsky. Subscribe and stick around to the end of the video to see the results. So here we go. This is my 5511 Gonzalo de Cordoba and it's time to max him. Let's get expertise in this commander because he's going to be the best engineering commander to enter Rise of Kingdoms. With his AoE damage, he's just going to absolutely boss the field. So yeah, I've saved up plenty of gold heads and it's going to be real nice. So I've got a few few gold heads remaining and here it is. Our Grand Capitan. Very nice indeed. And let's move on to Gajamada. So we'll just put the last of the gold heads into this. So I'm gonna open both of these last skills because I do prefer this fourth skill. I think the uh, defense reduction and the march speed reduction is really nice. Um, you get good value on the third skill anyway at one. So let's try and get some points into the, this last skill. Wish me luck. Oh, this is always hard. Nice, there's uh, one skill where you wanted it. And let's try this again. Perfect. And we're just not got enough heads to go again. Um, very, very close. So we'll do that again probably tomorrow now. But yeah, this is this is mainly going to be, you know, your Cordoba expertise testing. We are going to try him with, with Gajamada uh, firstly. Because, I mean, I think I think these are going to be the best pair together. Um, they're just going to have more synergy. And I think Margaret and Baba have got synergy together too. So personally, if if you're going to max all four of these commanders, then I just keep them keep them together as I guess Lilith intended. Your Margaret, your Baba, and uh, Cordoba, Gajamada. So just sorting these uh, armaments out. I'm going to put the best armaments I've got on my march. Which I believe, yeah, I believe is this one. So yeah, we've got two legendary inscriptions, decent stats, and let's put all the gear on. So as you'll be able to see, we've got uh, two crit um, pieces. Um, obviously, they've only got an epic weapon, Siege I've so far, and I used Delane's Amulet and Dagger, of course, for the accessories. That's all I've got at the moment. Um, potentially, other things are better, like your horn and your ring. Um, obviously, there's this new ranged accessory, the Immolating Plume, which I think is going to be good. Uh, but this is all we've got for now. So that's going to be the test we do so Reese was very kind and she's going to help me test these commanders today um, I managed to pretty much film a hospital uh, which is just great you know cost a lot of resources but it's worth it it's worth it to show you guys what we think is best and uh, go from there so don't expect much, we're fighting the best dueling pair in Rise of Kingdoms. So, as a ranged march, we're not, they're not designed to fight 1v1s. But if you did get in this situation, then you're probably best to run. 
If you find a Hero Nevsky, um, they've probably got decent gear on. Yeah, you, you're best to try and get away. You, you can, you've got plenty of time. You should be able to just about outrun them, you know, do a bit of node hopping and be smart. Uh, siege are very fast. You can move over towards other marches, your allies, and, you know, they'll help you out as well. Together, you, you'd take this down fairly easy. So, obviously, first this is the first test, Cordoba and Gajamada. And to be honest, they're doing fairly well. Probably better than expected. Obviously, Gajamada is now 5513, uh, which is, 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 I'm happy with that. That's where I'd sort of want it. Um, and to be honest, they don't look like they're doing too badly at all. So, this is defeat, obviously. 35k to 15.4k. Okay, so that's a starting point. So next, let's go for Cordoba and Babur. Now, the only problem I I find with pairing these together is that there's no healing going on. Now, obviously we've got Margaret that heals and we've got uh, Gaja Mar that has a little bit of healing. And yeah, healing is quite nice. So, it just allows you to have a bit more longevity in the field. And as a ranged march, you want a bit of survivability. So, although we may find from some of these results that... You, you might be doing quite a bit more damage output on some of the tests. But really, in the field as an actual ranged march, which is what this is, this isn't really a valid test, okay? So, if you want to do 1v1s, yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, to be honest, you, you probably win most 1v1s, apart from probably your calves now. I think... I think generally your Huo Nevskis and your Nevsky Jones are going to defeat your 1v1. Um, Budika Liang or Ashurbanipal, again, is going to be tough. I think I think the weakest at the moment 1v1s is probably your infantry marches. Uh, obviously Sargon's decent at 1v1s, but uh, that's about it really. So yeah, if you're going to 1v1 with these commanders, like look out for infantry and uh, you shouldn't be too bad, to be too fair. I mean, obviously, if you've got better equipment as well, yeah, you're going to pretty much be fine. I think if my equipment was was better than this Huo Nevsky's equipment, I think it'd be a, a lot different result. So yeah, there we've got 31.3 to 17k. And that's that's a better result. So Cordoba and Baba, you know, they're hitting a lot harder. But that's what you'd expect. I mean, Cordoba has a massive uh, 2,400 uh, damage factor. Obviously, again, it's AOE. Um, and Baba does 2,400 as well, uh, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. But again, like I say, they've got no heal there. So... Although that's a lot better result, you're not getting your longevity in the field when you're attacking at range. So yeah, now we're bringing out uh, Margaret and Cordoba. So I think this should be a really strong march. This was going to be my sort of favoured march, I think, from before uh, we knew about these commanders, you know, what they were going to be doing on the field. I I just thought with Cordoba's kit, they'd be really well matched. So let's take a look. So yeah, blasting through this, obviously it's, it's not looking great. Again, we expect to lose this. It's just comparing results at your your melee range. And 
which is going to probably hold up best at this at melee range. So if you did want to do one v ones, then we'd know which uh, which pairings to use. Uh, obviously, usually once KVK is finished, you can have a bit mess about doing duels. Um, you can do duels in your home kingdom. I mean, everyone sort of underestimates uh, a siege march. So if you've got really really decent gear, you know you've got all your crit siege gear crit ring crit horn um there's not going to be many that are really going to compete that well with you uh, unless they have got better gear uh, i would i say i'd still avoid dueling hyo nevsky so margaret kodoba did 33k to 16k which you've just seen uh which is better than gar jamada but obviously worse than the Baba pairing. But you've got to remember that Garjamada isn't even maxed yet. So I think personally, if, if Garja was maxed, Cordoba Garja is probably going to be the ideal pairing here, which is, again, as you'd expect. I'm not sure exactly who would be best to dueling with out of like your Margaret Baba or uh, Cordoba Garja if they were going to be your two field marches. So now we again have Cordoba and Baba. Um, so obviously Reese who I'm uh, dueling with here, she explained that obviously Huo hadn't had his 30 seconds rest before battle last time. So we said we'll redo this one. I mean, it has been the best result so far. So, to be honest, it was, it was good to get another rematch and just check that was the case. And to be honest, yeah, it's looking good. I mean, obviously, obviously again, we're not going to win. But um, it's still looking a half-decent result here. So, when it's finished, we'll uh, take a look at these. So remember last time it was 31.3k to 17k and this is 30.4k to 17.4, almost 17.5, which is even better than last time. So yeah, this is the best result so far. This is Cordoba and Baba. So now we're going to try Baba primary and uh, Cordoba secondary. She took so long this time, night turn to day. But now we're ready. So this is, yeah, Baba Primary. Again, there's no healing in this march. So this is probably just pure dueling purposes. I probably wouldn't take this march to an altar because you'd want it to be a bit longer lasting, I reckon. And you might, you might find, obviously, we, we, you know, I'm so, I'm so psyched on Cordoba. He, he's got to be in any march. If you're using one march, Cordoba has to be in that march without a doubt. Um, if you're going to use your, um, your tower in the altar. He has to be in there. I mean, you've seen, you've possibly seen from the last video the the damage the AOE can do. So it's just going to add so many more severely wounded uh, to your enemy's hospitals. And you know that's the main, that's the name of the game. It's all going to help towards your KVK targets and helping towards your KVK rewards. You know, you want to get all them coins, as many as you can, and uh, get your blueprints that you want. So this one's nearly done now. This should be interesting. So obviously we've done, we've done Cordoba Baba, and that seemed good so far. So this is 30.8 to 19k, so this is, this is doing some damage. So, yeah, this, this is the best result again so far now so Baba is probably better primary to Cordoba 
if you're going to use this march. And yeah, now I want to just do a Margaret Cordoba rematch because I really thought this was going to do better. This was the one I thought, oh yeah, we're going to take this to alter. And to be honest, I still might take it to alter when we get the next alter fight. Because obviously Margaret does a decent heal. She's, she's maxed out. She's got a really good heal. And Cordoba's going to be smashing that AoE, which is just what we need. So yeah, obviously before we did this, we got 33k to 16k. So I'm hoping just to see if we can improve on that a little bit. Um, I mean, a lot of these skills are just, you don't know, you, you, all of them are like you get 10% chance of popping off and uh, again, you don't know how uh, how often your dagger is going to pop off either to reduce health. So there's a little bit, a little bit of leeway here and there where you just don't know what the result's going to be exactly. And at this stage, it's, it's hard to tell whether there's any improvement. Obviously, these jewels are all looking very, very similar. What I've got to say about these engineer commanders at the moment is they're just extremely interchangeable. That was someone just saying that healing is a game changer. And to be honest, it is. Yeah, healing's really, really nice on these marches. So again, if you've got... Okay, let's look at these results. So you've got 33.5k to 16k and... Yeah, that's just, it's slightly worse than before. So, it's not the strongest, and to be honest, it's not much different to the Cordoba Gaja Modern March that we used initially, which was 35k to 15.4, and this was 33.5k to 16k. So, I think if Gaja Marder was expertised or 555 four or you know very a lot closer then cordoba gorge and is probably going to be your best bet and like i say margaret baba they're just meant to be together and i've had so much success with margaret baba like i'm happy to keep that as a march and obviously with the equipment as well your, your full equipment for siege, you get uh, you get your five percent skill damage, which is perfect for for Margaret Babu. I mean, this is Margaret Babu now, so you know we're going to see the results of this, and it's not going to differ too much to the other results. To be honest, there's no real standout march here. There's no march that's just absolutely slapping. So far, yeah, Babu Cordoba with the you know pretty much 31k severs for us to the 19k i mean the 19k was the highest uh, the highest damage we've managed to do to huo so far so this is 31k to 16.3 and it's a similar result to margaret cordoba to be honest uh actually slightly better um yeah, slightly better than Mark Cordoba, but obviously Cordoba does the AOE, so you'd yeah you'd still go for Margaret Cordoba, I think, in Alta, uh, unless you unless you've maxed Gajamada. I think I think Cordoba Gajamada would actually then be the best bet for Alta because I'd like Cordoba to be primary. And that's because you want the AOE skill to pop up as soon as possible. Okay, so now we're doing a little bit of a different test. We've got, which worked out to be the best march overall at the moment, which was Baba Cordoba, and this is purely 1v1. So we're going to walk in, the Huonets is going to walk in, and we're going to be able to build up a little bit more rage here. Obviously, it's cavalry, so they're walking in very fast. And 
to be honest, who knows, Rage Ball really filled fast there as well. The the engineering march is at gaining that initial 1,000 rage to pop off the, the active skill. Um, which generally doesn't matter too much if you're you're just fine from range. You're not really bothered about it gaining that much rage initially. Once once you've gained the first amount, it, it goes it goes pretty well. You know, it carries on going a decent speed. It's not it's not that slow then. But yeah, your first initial lot of rage to activate that active skill is actually a little bit slow. So. In 1v1 situations, generally, you don't want that. You want to be getting the first hit in and because that's going to make a massive impact into the actual 1v1 result. So in theory, this should be better. I think Baba's um, skill hit off first. So, yeah, you're going to get a slightly better result than just complete melee range where... Baba, Baba, we took 30.8k severe to 19k severes. So, yeah. So from the walking test, it's it's going to be a bit closer, a little bit closer. Still a loss, but we've actually got uh, we've actually got the Huo in the red now, which is very nice. It's the first time we've seen this, even though we died. So. 29.6k, 22k, 22.1k. That is a lot better. And I just wanted to show you, obviously, the Huoka Bing's gear now. And, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's full legendary set with ring and horn, three crits, uh, good base stats. You know, you've got good health stats. 90% total stats. And... As you can see on here, there's a 46% health on the cavalry stats. And that's extremely tanky. So you can see how well Huo holds up there. And it's no wonder we're not being able to destroy him, to be honest. With tanky stats like that, it's, it's just going to be impossible, really. So now we'll look at my gear again in a bit more depth. So... We've also got 90% worth of stats and lower base stats because uh, obviously we're missing two legendary pieces here. Siege don't have a legendary weapon. Um, we'd probably go for like a... Probably a ring would be nice on this or the immolating plume uh, would be great. And this could help quite a lot. So, as I've said before, I prefer Siege Attack. And that's because at range, you just want to output as much damage as possible in as little time as possible, and that's the way to go with it. Now, I do like the dagger because you're helping everyone out here. So, when you're hitting at range, you're reducing the enemy's health. And if everyone else is hitting that enemy, it's just helping your kingdom and your allies out massively. So, yeah, I definitely love the dagger for ranged combat. So obviously you've not seen me do any range testing in this video. And that's basically because when you're fighting against anyone at range, you're always gonna win. So you've seen, you've probably seen another video, we did T1 versus T4, the T1 won. You basically, as long as you're not getting hit, like in this video, you're gonna trade massively positive. Like, you're going to have impeccable results from these marches. So, moving on, we did one last test. And I said to Rhys, let's, let's get rid of all our gear, all our armaments. Do one last uh, melee test. Baba Cordoba versus your hero and Nevsky. And let's just see if there's going to be a better result without... You know, that gear get in the way. And yet, yeah, it was slightly better. So you can see here, 30.6 to 21.7k. And that is the best result so far. Um, apart from the walking in result, of course. So 
before that, we were looking at 30.8k 30. to 19k. So, yeah, quite a bit of an improvement there. Clearly, there's better gear on this, uh, this Cav March today. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully, most of you stuck around to the end of it. Of course, if you think I've missed any testing that you'd like to see, just let me know and I'll do my best to show you in a future video. Well, guys, that's enough for me, Mr. Siege. Please subscribe to the channel and like my videos. Bye-bye.